Hey, my water signs. Welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those of you that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those of you that are returning, hey guys. I hope that everybody's been doing great. So this is going to be your reading for your overall advice, um, career and finances. Okay, guys. So some of the messages may or may not apply to your exact situation. So just take whatever fits and just throw away the rest, okay? All right, water signs. Let's see what's going on. Overall advice. Spirit, what messages do you have for my water signs? In the month of July. Water signs. Overall advice for my water signs. Month of July. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, not oh, I got nine and ten of air. Okay. So expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. Ten of air says the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. Okay. And you have queen of earth. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Okay, so. Actually, I'm going to keep these down here because I'm going to move them. Okay, bottom of the deck. I have knight of water. Falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. Nice. Okay, guys. So overall advice, what I'm seeing here, you guys have been stressing out. You guys have been stressing out. It could be different areas of your life, career, finances, love, family, friends, whatever it is. It's like you guys have just been going through it. I feel like a lot of you guys are expecting the worst to take place when a situation might not even be as bad as you think it is. Whatever you guys have been going through, Spirit is saying it is coming to an end. So I need you guys to stay positive. Just have hope because even if you feel like you're getting ready to lose something or someone, there was some type of change that's meant to take place in your life because it's elevating you to go to the next level. There's something else that you're supposed to be doing and or there's someone else that you're maybe you're supposed to be with. Who knows? But... I feel like when it says recovering from a, an addiction, that's you guys holding on to a certain situation, whether that's friends, family, love, interest, career. They're saying it's time to let it go. You know, they want you to heal. And that's why Spirit is saying with Queen of Earth, you know, make time for, you know, the people that you love and that you know genuinely love you back. You know, those that root for you, you know, those that are willing to help you, those that you can talk to. You know, because I feel like you're getting ready to be hit with a lot of different obstacles and it's okay to ask for advice, but you got to figure out how to deal with these challenges. You know, you don't have to go off on everybody or just spaz out. So with Night of Water, that could even go back to what I was telling you guys before um, about love, because I see you guys falling in love. So this could be someone new coming in. It could be someone from the past. Some of you guys could be getting ready to get engaged and you don't know. It's like you're stressing yourself out thinking like, I don't know if this person's coming back. I don't know if this is going to happen to me, but this card is saying it is. So if you guys are invited, you know, to go out, to hang out, you know, of course, use your own judgment, use your intuition. Cause you know, with the whole COVID-19, you have to be careful, but discernment you know what i'm saying if you want to go out go out just be cautious if you want to stay in do something on zoom cool just be careful okay <laughs> all right so let's take a look at your career let's see what's going on okay spirits so when it comes to my water signs in their careers water sign in their careers what advice do you have for my water signs please Okay, bottom of the deck, I have judgment reverse. So I'm seeing that you guys are definitely making some decisions when it comes down to your career. Yep, you guys are cutting something off or someone off. Clarify the King of Swords. Oh, you guys are walking away. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys are making the decision to leave a particular job. But you're frustrated. Some of you guys could have already left and you're trying to figure out, was that the best move for me? Should I have done that? You know, for those of you that hadn't left, but you, I feel like you're being pushed to leave. You're like, Ooh, I don't know if that's right, the right move because I don't have something lined up. Or, you know, if you're wanting like, to start your own business, you're kind of like, Ooh, the money's not coming in like I want. I don't know if I should take this leap. See, you guys aren't really putting in the work. Clarify. 
but you need to free yourself. It's time. Spirit is saying you. it's time for you guys to leave. For those of you that are being pushed to leave a job, they're saying leave. Let me move these down. Sorry, y'all. Mm. But anyway, yeah, it's time to get out. It's, it's time. Yeah, because you're not happy there. You are not happy there at all, and it's time to leave. See, it's time for you to remove yourself from this job. But the thing is, you keep looking over your shoulders, you know, at this particular job. Maybe there's someone around you that you're not getting along with. But I just feel like this could even be somebody that's been looking over your, your shoulders, giving you a hard time. See, you're leaving. You guys are leaving a job, and that's why I feel like a lot of you are scared to do it. But Spirit is saying you need to listen to your intuition. Because I feel like it's the best move for you guys. But I completely understand having a backup plan. I get that. See, and that's why you guys aren't taking that leap. For some of you. But Spirit is saying, stop being frustrated. Stop worrying about what's going to happen. Because, see, you guys aren't confident with this decision. But, I mean, y'all, they're saying leave, okay? It, it's time. You got to go. Embrace the change. Look, oh, my gosh. It's time. It is time. They're saying stop worrying. They need you to make a move. You have money coming in. It is time, okay? It's time. It's time for you to move on, but you guys are still undecided. How is this going to play out? How is this going to work out if I leave my job? Y'all, if they tell me leave your job again, I'm, I'm going to come through and snatch y'all up. Because I'm telling y'all, they're saying it's time to go. It's time. See? And by you leaving... You have a new beginning coming. There's definitely a new start coming in for you guys. Okay. Yep. There's communication coming in about a new job opportunity. Or there's something that for those of you that are wanting to venture out and start your own business. Or you're trying to get your business off the ground right now. I feel like there's some type of contract. There's something coming in for you. But you're still afraid that it's not going to take place. You're still afraid that you're not going to have this new start. And again, Spirit is saying stop worrying. Get out of your head. Water signs. Get out. Okay. Cut it off. I think you're your worst enemy. You have to let this go. But see, you're confused. It's like you don't know what to do. Tell me more. Because they're saying things will balance out for you. Fin oh, no. Nope, it didn't come out. Things will balance out for you financially speaking. But you guys are having a hard time right now. Clarify. Queen of Cups trying to come out. You guys are sad. But Spirit is saying they need you to have the strength. And they need you to stay positive. And stop looking back at the past. Because that's what's keeping you stuck. Didn't I tell y'all that? I told you. Whoa. <laughs> okay, water signs. I mean, ugh. I better not see that next month, okay? Y'all better have made some type of shift, okay? Or at least if you're not removing yourself just yet, you're making plans to do so. So let's see. All right. So, Spirit, when it comes down to my water signs and their finances, what messages do you have? bottom of the deck i have the four swords so you guys are worried and you're frustrated all right let's see what just flipped over in my hand where did you go oh my gosh where is it hold on y'all sorry i saw it flip but did it flip back no it didn't it's right here okay it was hiding from me so spirit is saying you guys have to make some type of judgment call some type of decision here when it comes down to your finances because you guys are realizing the truth see king of cups you're sad some of you guys are upset. You don't like how things may be looking when it comes to your money. But Spirit is saying things will improve for you, but you got some decisions to make. You, you have to make a decision, okay? Yep, and they need you to have the strength to make those decisions. See, look, decisions. I told you, you there's decisions here coming in. All right, so you guys, there's stability coming in. I feel like you're a boss. Look at that. This could even be your boss giving you some type of offer. Maybe some of you guys 
um, will, like I told you guys before in the career, like some of you guys could be venturing off, you know, to start your own business. You're a boss, you're a leader, you know, and there's going to be an offer coming in that's going to bring you in the money. For others of you, um, it's okay if you don't start your own business. You guys could have been, you know, applying for jobs. And I feel like that's why you've been worrying about your money because you've been trying to leave this other job or maybe you've already left this other job or for some of you, you were let go. But I definitely see an offer coming in from an, a boss here. But see, you guys are afraid. Why is the devil here? Yeah, you're afraid to put an end to a situation when it comes down to your finances. They're saying the seed that you planted, they're going to grow. But you have to come out of worrying. See, maybe some of you guys are worrying about your household, bills, family. If you, Some of you guys have to take care or help other people out. And it's like you're keeping your thoughts, your fears to yourself. Yeah, because it's like you're not getting this offer that you want. But see... I see you guys coming out of being frustrated. If you feel like some of you guys are in codependent situations where you have to help take care of other people, but financially speaking, you can't really do that right now. I feel like you guys are going to start speaking up. See, you're back and forth with the two of cups. That could be you back and forth about a job. This could be you back and forth about a relationship, a commitment that you have. See, with family, someone from your past. Okay, let's see what jumped out. I have two threes. There is a third party here. I see you guys putting it into because it's like you in order for things to improve financially, you're going to have to remove yourself from some type of third party situation. You know, it's like you don't want to give any more money to someone that it's like you've been helping out for a while for some of you. But the thing is, you're moving really slow. But they're saying once you put an end to it, look at that. You have a new beginning coming in and there's some type of commitment coming. I'm telling you, you got money coming in big time water signs. But you got to make some changes first. Can I just say you have money coming in? Money will be improving for you. But you have to make the decision, I feel like, to cut something or someone off. You, you're going to have to stand up for yourself, see? And you're going to have to work hard at it. See? It's a third party. It's like this breaks your heart for some of you guys to tell someone no or to stand up for yourself. But you're going to have to do it because I told you, you guys are holding yourself back. See? You're dragging your feet to do this. Yeah, this could be, it's, it could be somebody else here. You know, it's like more, maybe more than one person that you're helping, but spirit, king of swords, you got to cut this person off. See, you're no longer giving anyone handouts. You can't do it right now. No. And even if you can, you're going to have to set a limit, you know, and I feel like by you doing that, that's when financially speaking, things will improve for you. Okay. All right, water signs. That was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see how all this plays out next month. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye.